Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you. 07 July. Non farms today. Um, I don't know. 12 a year for 30 years. 360 non farms into my career. Um, should be quiet this morning. We do have not much industrial production out of Germany. Nobody really cares. Well, that could come in weak. Um, Italian retail sales, also nobody cares. Um, the important hour is 2.30 to 3.30, we've got Canadian employment and then non-farms, average hourly earnings, uh, also very important, 0 0.3 expected. Yesterday, uh, some places we got what we wanted, some places we didn't, obviously dollars are worked out. Um, that shit's going up to 19.15. We popped out of it at 1893 at the 1% mark on the day, uh, just sort of harvested that. That was fine. We did not add through 05, um, which is which would have been sort of the killer move, but it was a bit bumpy, right? So we traded 0526 and then down to 97, and then we traded 0607 down to 98. So it wasn't super clean, but once it did break, it popped up to 15. Uh, as we spoke on Twitter, is this going to just be on the march to 20 now? Um, yes, uh, it probably is. Is there any place to safely get long this today? Right now, I would say not really. Uh, if you still own those 1875s from yesterday, you can probably hold them. Um, we were long at 77, not 75, but um, that worked out. Uh, what didn't work out was cross yen, right? So we were short sterling yen, short Swiss yen, short euro yen, short CAD yen, and short Kiwi yen. Um, thinking that this was going to be the day. Swiss yen obviously didn't do anything. Um, you know, we sold at 40 looked pretty good down to 160 and then it went all the way back up to 93 um, cut out of those at like 55 year yen as well we sold at 60 looked pretty good down at 156 the figure but then all the way back up to basically 157 traded um, cad yen worked this didn't retrace right so cad you know, so we sold through um, through 50 up here. Um, never saw that again, so that was nice. We did get close, got up to 47 there briefly, but um, Cadian worked out. We harvested that uh, end of the day at 70, and Kiwi and also worked, although we wore a little bit of pain on this one. Um, anyway, Kiwi and worked. Um, we sold 89.15s, we wore this, we sold some more at 35, we bought 25, we had a 55 stop, blah, blah, blah. Worked out, we added through um, 88.80 and then just sort of squared it for cash. Going into non-farms, we want to be square. So in that sense, all that stuff, um, the cross end stuff, kind of half worked, kind of half didn't. Um, the real frustrating one was crude, right? So we sold 7220s, we sold through 7150, all the way down to 7022, and then the crude numbers came out, inventories came out, it was a bit tighter. Um, we didn't think it was going to be, it, we didn't think it was going to be $2 tighter, like we moved 7020 all the way to 7216. So we had to cut out of this at 71.44. Uh, so we harvested some money, but very frustrating because it was looking pretty fucking sexy down there at 70.15. Um, just like, come on, man. 
Give me a fucking break, will ya? And look at that. Perfect doji. Big long tail. I mean, fuck, now this shit looks big. Um, anyway, we're square crude now. Gave it our best shot. Crude has never been good to us uh, over the course of our trading careers. I mean, we've had some success with it, but... It's price action that I don't particularly understand with the depth um, and accuracy that I understand FX, G10 price action. So it is what it is. Let's go to gold. Trade it down to O2. Um, we were fishing for a, luck, for a lucky, a lucky break, or not really break, a lucky mean reversion trade down at 18, uh, 90. Did not get given down there, obviously, O2 to low. We, we're bullish gold. We're just trying to just trying to find a place. Um, and we're trying to pick the moment where it can be safe. Today is probably maybe the moment. Who knows if this thing misses today. Let's say this thing comes in sub 200 and average hourly earnings. Um comes in I don't know three four gold will pop uh, and this this pig hourly bar here will be erased I have to say historically ADP um, nobody really cares right uh, it's it's uh, it's it hasn't been the best indicator uh, historically I know we printed 497 as fucking pretty hysterical. Um, but the unemployment claims are 248, you know, kind of in, uh, in balance there. And so anyway, the point is, is non-farms could do anything today. Um, and so you just got to be ready for anything. If it comes in low, uh, gold might be my horse. We'll have to see where we are you know, at 2.30. And this is the problem with going over the charts. It's never a problem going over the charts. It's always good to go over the charts over and over and over again. Um, but on non-farms, you really have to just go over them at lunchtime, right? So I should really do this call to myself um, at lunchtime. And of course, I will do that. I just won't put it on the internet. And I encourage all of you to have a look at the charts now and go, okay, that doesn't really mean diddly. Um, let's see where the prices are at noon, uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 Central European Time, um, and go from there. Looks like to me that continuation in CAD yen is, is, is an interesting one. Of course, we have CAD um, employment numbers today, so that's going to be quite hectic. And also this Kiwi yen looks... These are pretty bearish bars at the very tippity top of big, big ass ranges. Um, so, I don't know. We're going to try and maybe uh, try and slide back into some short uh, Kiwi Yen or short Cad Yen, depending on how things go this afternoon. Otherwise, if it's a big miss, um, we'll jump on the gold bandwagon. Or maybe Euro, actually. Um, Euro was very robust yesterday. I mean, a little bit, a little bit bouncy, um, but you know, this is this is the ISM bar down to one hundred eight thirty three. Just didn't like it down there. Let's face it, right? So, I mean, we started the day at fifty. You know, we went all the way. I know we started the day down here at forty six. All the way up to the figure, all the way down to 33. Now we're up to the figure. Euro looks like it's spacing here. And of course, our base case um, is Euro to 120. So this is interesting, perhaps maybe Euro, maybe Euro long stay if we are if we have a miss. Because that that type of bar right there, that 4 p.m. bar is like, eh, don't really like it down here. Um, triple bottom now um, euro looks all right so maybe euro or gold depending on what you're more comfortable with if it's a miss if this thing comes in hot um, 
Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I guess dollar yen is is. This thing comes in really hot. Dollar yen goes for 145 today, and then we're on the BOJ watch over the weekend. Um, that would piss off a lot of people. In fact, now that I said it out loud, uh, <laughs> that's probably the like. This is the. This would be the most unliked result today. Super high um, NFP. Like, say we add, I don't know, four hundred thousand jobs or something, um, and average hourly earnings inches up to zero point four, zero point five. Dollar yen breaks 145. Everyone who's short cross in from yesterday still somehow, um, their hearts are broken, uh, and it all ends in tears. And we spend the weekend reading Kafka crying about the metamorphosis of our lives. That's all I got for you guys. I will see you on Monday. Good luck today.